it's already done at this point. Hi there, John Quarterman. It's Quarterman like quarterback and quarterman. I live at uh, 6565 Quarterman Road, Hayhara, Georgia. That's right, Georgia. As the Suwannee River Keeper, I mosey around the 10,000 square miles or so of the Suwannee River Basin. In deference to the chairman's previous request and in recognition of the excellent presentation by the sheriff, I'll take my hand off. Um, so that was a very professional seeming presentation by the Moors. It included some, however, rather audacious statements like the mining will not affect the underlying aquifers. That's an odd thing to say here in the coastal plain land of sinkholes. How can they really guarantee that? They also said that they would follow all the permits. Well, they haven't. A number of people have alluded to, not not Moors, but other people have alluded to the <coughs> consent order. No one has mentioned it's OGC file number 18-12418-1240. I hear you have a copy. If you don't, I'd be happy to provide you one. Um, so um, I, we heard tonight that the uh, water for this operation would come from a, a permit by the uh, St. John's River Water Management District, yet we hear that the mining is going to go on in the Smoney River Water Management District. Wouldn't that be a cross-basin transfer? I thought that was illegal in Florida. We did not hear where the wastewater would go. And in that consent order, some of the infractions have to do with letting the wastewater run over barriers. And during Hurricane Irma, the only three industrial spills in the Swanee River Basin in Florida were from three of these same Camores mines. So I didn't hear Camores mention any of that in their very professional presentation. Also, I didn't hear them mention that uh, the consent order names another company, Twin Mines, excuse me, Twin Pines Minerals LLC, which uh, has filed an application to mine uh, similarly in Georgia next to the Okefenokee Swamp. Uh, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers application for that is SAS-2018-00554. I'll be happy to provide you a copy of it which is, by the way, on our website. I would highly recommend that if you could find your way clear to put the copy of this application or this mine on your website, because I, for one, have not had a chance to review it. I would very much like to compare it to this application by Twin Pines Minerals for a similar mine to see what's in each and what's left out of each. Um, just a couple more items, very, very short, if you don't mind. Oh, sure, sir. Okay. Twin Pines told a number of organizations that they plan to send the ore from that Georgia mine to Stark. Now, they never clarified what Stark meant, but it almost certainly means the same Stark Trail Ridge mine that this application is to expand. So I would very much like to know, is Twin Pines Minerals involved in the project they're talking about for this application? And we heard nothing about that. So. Um, there's also a little matter of slimes, as in slimy. These are nanoparticles dug up by the mining operation. How is the percentage of nanoparticles different on this site than on the site they came from? This is a big question in Georgia as well, which has not been addressed in either application. I strongly recommend that you defer any decision on this until a later date when you can be in a bigger room when everyone can hear and everyone has had time to review all the materials. Thank you.